So if you were to look up what soldering is, soldering is, quote, a process of joining two metal surfaces together using a filler metal called solder. When you're soldering, parent metal, the two metals that you're joining with, with the melting the solder, it's all about heat. The metals have to be hot in order for the solder to um, melt well enough and bond to the parent metals. You're going to see that like my, my soldering tip is dark at the very end. And it's, it's, I think that metal of the soldering tip actually came off and it's corroded. Um, and it's like a steel tip underneath, like the surface has come off. And so you can see, I am having a hard time actually getting that pad. I'm trying to put some solder on that pad before I put the part on it. And I'm having it difficulties. Now I ended up actually um, changing tips later, but right now I'm actually using it further up on the tip to get this soldered. Then I realized while I was doing that, that it'd be easier to solder one of the smaller pins first. But I'm still having issues as I'm doing this because the tip, you have to be able to get the solder hot and you have to be able to get each, the, the, the leg of that part and the pad below, you have to get them hot as well as the solder at once. So I put a little solder on there and then I'm gonna move the chip onto that pad that had now has solder and I'm gonna solder them together. However, Eventually, uh, as you can see, I'm still having issues getting it hot because that tip, the edge of that tip is not transferring heat. It's, it's basically, it's a dirty tip. And then I'm going to put the, the uh, tip on top of the leg and the whole thing gets soldered. And then I end up putting way too much solder on there. It, you can remove the solder if you want, but I'll show it a little bit later how I do that. So now I have the tip on top of the leg and I'm adding solder and you can kind of see I'm adding solder underneath a little bit and there it goes. And then you can see the solder just flowing up the leg up it goes. And that's because solder will flow up uphill. It could be because it wants to join itself to hot metal and it also doesn't want to be in a big blob. It wants to dissipate over a big surface area of metal. So then I end up changing tips because I realized that this is not going to work and it was kind of useless. And you can see there, I'm like, my tip is touching the solder and it barely like melts a dent in the solder. You can see like I'm almost pushing a dent into that solder, solder wire. Um, and so that's when I finally realized, yeah, I need a new tip. Once you have a new tip, you know, then soldering is quite easy. And so now I have a new tip and you can see it's all shiny and this, there's so, like little, um, the solder just flows nicely as I'm heating it up and I'm adding more and more solder as it gets hot and the solder is going underneath that pad and then there's, and it's, it's, um, going to have a very good bond. And then over here. I decided to take some of the solder off and solder wants to stick to hot metal. Solder always adheres to it. So right there, I using the tip and I clean the tip off. I wipe my tip against it and some of the solder will stay on my tip. So by doing that, basically you're scraping it off and I do that several times. And then I wanted to solder this IC. So this, this, um, this chip, I soldered in the last video, but I use uh, solder paste. Well, now I'm soldering it by hand. And I mean, this tip isn't, super big but it's it's decent size compared to the pins um so basically what i do is i solder one pin first so that it stays in place and then i solder each individual pin and then i'm going to solder so i soldered the one side now uh just tacked it on and now i'm going to solder each pin now this chip the pins were kind of bent out of shape a little bit so i actually ended up not having one of the pins I actually didn't solder and i didn't realize it until i got um i got finished with uh, soldering the whole board but right here, you can see I'm, I'm soldering each pin, adding a little solder, heating it up, solder, heating it up, solder. Um, so that's kind of the general process of it. And you know you don't want to be on each pin too long because you can damage the IC. I mean, the heat transfers up that pin all the way into the part. So you know that's something to keep in mind. And, t and typically, you know, these parts aren't really made to be necessarily hand soldered or surface mount parts. So you would do solder paste and put them in the oven. So it's not like you're doing it in a normal fashion, applying heat directly to the pin, um, but it works. And, and it's a, it's a good method. If you don't have a lot of tools, you can solder just with this, if you don't want to use solder paste. And this isn't like a special, really expensive soldering iron. This is just a soldering iron with a smaller tip. And it's nice to have heat control on your solder tip because um, you know, you might, might be too hot or if you're soldering something really small, maybe you don't need as much heat. So having a solder iron that can control the heat and also change out the tips quickly and easily is, is definitely uh, important. I'm soldering 
uh, these caps on the resistor pads, just as practice kind of. Um, and it's hard because the parts will move around once, you know, once the solder heats up, it'll move it on you a little bit. But once you have one side soldered, it becomes so much easier. Um, and then once you have both sides soldered, it's very hard, it's harder to get off. Um, and if you do need to get a part off, is you, you can just heat up one side and kind of just twist it off a little bit. And sometimes, yeah, you can wreck the pads depending on how big the pads are and how much solder there is. But heat up one side usually allows you to kind of like lift it up and then you can unsolder the other side. It can be a very frustrating soldering them all by hand, which is why I would prefer solder paste. Um, preference would be to use solder paste, but it can be done. And if you're not doing a huge bore with a ton of parts, uh, you know, keep it in mind as an option. Soldering uh, R16, and I put a little solder on the pad before I put the part on, and then I just apply some heat and the part stays there and then soldered on one side. And then I'm gonna come around the other side, apply some heat and, there, and the part's done. Um, so it doesn't take too long per part. It's just kind of um, tedious work. And it's also just, you know, it's, it's, it's tedious. And it's, it's, you have to be careful what you're doing and think about th think through it. So the Texas instrument part there, that's the part we soldered by hand. And we you just, you just did that with a solder iron. Now in the last video, I soldered this part with solder paste and then put it on the oven bread pan. And so soldering both of these, you can see the difference. So that one there, that chip, that was soldered on the bread pan. And then this regulator was soldered by hand.